Hey YouTube, Matt Fires here. So today I'm going to open up my Xbox, which will give me access to the DVD drive, and I will also be showing you how to do a light mod. Um, uh, I should show you one more time, I'm done, but uh, no, I'll just show you this one when it gets going. So let's get started. Um, I'm also going to be fixing a DVD drive. I'll split that up into separate videos. So, first things first. All you need to do here is grab, oh, and I'll write the tools you need in the description, So, and I'll let you know which I'm using as I'm using it. So all you need to do is grab it from this uh, USB slot here on the side, right by the sync button. Pull it along the edges. There we go. You can hear the pins all popping out, just like the old 360. So once you have that piece out, set that one aside, grab it by the sink, pull down, that piece slides right out. As your button, uh, when that comes in contact with the other side of here, it's connected to a flat ribbon. Uh, then you want to push this side, and then push this side down, push this side up, and pull. Now you can see that it kind of separated right here. Okay, so you want to keep your pressure on there. Pull it back. This one's already been open. Um, I don't know who opened it, bought it this way, but I just pull it. That first one clips off. Kind of snaps off. Now you need a flathead screwdriver. Size doesn't matter. I like to go with one that's not gonna bend when I'm using it, but it's sturdy enough. And now you're gonna be pushing all the clasps, the clasps that you have. So the first clasp is uh, right by the edge by the by the uh, landline. Just poke in there. Let's see. Oops. I should have a thinner screwdriver. Yeah, I want that screwdriver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Skills. There you go. So right in there, and you can see the clasp right there. So you can go either right above the landline. Or more towards the um, IR out. You can go there or there. The next one is just on the other side of uh, the HDMI in. So I go in there, push in, and there you go. See? Right there, or you can go on the other side of the HDMI in. Doesn't matter. And the last one is right above the power cable. I believe it's on the most inside dot. Nope. There we go. So, I guess, uh, right above the HDMI out to TV. That's the last clip. Now when you get the last clip done, just pull it a bit more. You can look right down the middle. It'll pop out there. You can see uh, some clips here. So let me take a bit of a sturdier screwdriver. You have your flex ribbon right there. Uh, let's see if I can change that. Okay, so ooh, ooh. gotta be very careful with it or you'll rip it. Um, so there's a flex ribbon down there. Now you'll see all these clasps right here. So you can just pull them. Uh, start on the side by the vent, I believe. Yeah. And just kind of pop all the clasps off. This one's out enough that we're using the hands. Somebody's broke on these two. There you go. Just work your way out by a little bit of pressure so it doesn't lock back up. And that'll take that right off. Okay, now do the same for the bottom one. Uh, mine's already done, but. Most people won't tell you then if you can look down and you can see uh anyways, make sure that you get both sides off because when you try to get it off without doing this first, it's way harder and you're not gonna be able to get rid of it. So get the front, the bottom and the top undone. Then you can see that ribbon right there. Just pull the beige part, the lock 
upwards to unlock it. This one doesn't want to unlock. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Then you can just kind of use a screwdriver or your fingers, doesn't matter. Pop the front of it off because it's holding itself against the other side of it. Once that's popped off, you can just pull it right out. Not broken, and it's fine. Um, if you do break this piece, you'll need to buy a replacement. And I found it up for two bucks on eBay. You have to wait a while. Um, Amazon.com. I don't know if I want to say sites, but anyways. Um, so pretty much, if you do break it, you have to get a new label, a new uh, ribbon cable that connects from there all the way down comes to your connection here and it connects to the power button and you'll need to replace that whole thing so try not to break it now next step you have these connections right here so pop this one off unplug this one being careful the board's off there now all these screws here that have a C and a number those will all come off, and I will be using. Um, let's see, is this a nine T eight? Whoop! Use this T eight. Definitely not a T eight. T ten. It is a T ten. So I'm going to be doing a T10 for all C's. And these are the big long guys that are actually holding it to the other side of the lid. So put those on the side. See a bunch of them that are all obvious all across the board. Now this one has a broken DVD drive as well, so I'm gonna have to, be, to replace that. Um, I bought it broken. I didn't bother checking the security seal, and I didn't notice that they had already opened it. Uh, did I work this one online from an auction site? Yeah. Anyways, uh, so now you want to get these smaller ones. As you can see, it doesn't fit on there. This one, I believe, is the T8. Yep, this one's T8. So T8 and T10. Pretty much what you needed on the old 360s. Take the two smaller screws off of the board. Set those ones aside. Now, the plug for this, where it goes through the casing, is right on this side, inside corner here. And you want to unplug this because this cord here is connected to the casing. So it's not going to come off with it. And now you wiggle it. I'm kind of trying to pull it out where it's from here, from all these pins here. And there you have it, okay? This is your uh don't know. This is one of your boards. So you got your sound there, you got your fan there. Everything's open. Last screw is underneath. C3. Sound goes back there. Now this is loose from the board, but I'm not gonna take it out just yet. See Lid off. When you take the lid off, be careful. It goes right underneath here, where that connection was. There's a plug. So unplug this. Yeah, that's a Bluetooth in. That can, that uh, that board comes with your Bluetooth and I believe your Wi-Fi. And if you uh, don't plug it back in when you put your Xbox back together, then you will have some issues. So I'm going to unplug my DVD drive. You don't need to do this. I just need to take it out because I will be 
opening this up and taking a look inside of the DVD drive. Because that's what's wrong with this one. Uh, now you come back to here. Oh, feet are falling asleep. And you got a couple, uh, couple screws. T8s again. On the front, you have three of them. Don't mix these ones up with the smaller ones. Um, they are a different size. But there's three of them and they're longer. So even if you get confused, look for three of them that are similar. Uh, the other border only had two. Now you're right. You're right. There. I think if I pull it up close, it's gonna get all fuzzy. But you can see an arrow there by the light, and uh, that arrow is your. It points to the negative side of your of your light. Uh, now you can pull it out from here. Just kind of wiggle it in there where it's connected, and I have my board for light change. Um, now the Xbox just comes right out from the casing. The casing side. Uh, you got your hard drive here. I don't know if you can swap that out. Probably not. Uh, you got your fan here connected there. Uh, you have your CPU and GPUs underneath the fan, underneath the heat sinks. So, uh, I don't think anybody should be needing to do a reflow yet, but if you do, that's where you need access to. So, I'm going to set this all aside now. And I'm going to stop the video set up for my soldering. Okay. Ooh, half done. Disassembly. 10 minutes.